for normal files in the file system, Unix does not impose or provide any internal file structure. This implies that from the point of view of the operating system, there is only one file type. The structure and interpretation thereof is entirely dependent on how the file is interpreted by software. Unix does however have some special files. These special files can be identified by the LSL command which displays the type of the file in the first alphabetic letter of the file system permissions field. A normal file is indicated by a hyphen minus dash. Regular file. Being the well-known entity that files are, files are also called regular files to distinguish them from special files. They show up in LSL without a specific character in the mode field. $LSDLPASSWD, RWR, R. PASSWD. Directory. The most common special file is the directory. The layout of a directory file is defined by the file system used. As several file systems, both native and non-native, are available under Unix, there is not one directory file layout. A directory is marked with AD as the first letter in the mode field in the output of LSDL or STAT, for example. $LSDL slash DRWX or XRX 26 root root September 22nd 1496-0929 slash $STAT slash file slash size 1496 blocks 8 IO block 1496 directory device. 802h slash 2050di node, 128 links, 26, access, wid, git. Symbolic link. A symbolic link is a reference to another file. This special file is stored as a textual representation of the referenced file's path. A symbolic link is marked with an L as the first letter of the mode string, for example. LRWXRWXRWX. Tomkup Shari Tomkup, LRWXRWXRWX. SO3XINETDXINETD. Named pipe. One of the strengths of Unix has always been inter process communication. Amongst the facilities provided by the OS are pipes. These pipes connect the output of one process to the input of another. This is fine if both processes are living in the same parent process space, started by the same user. There are however circumstances where the communicating processes must use named pipes. One such circumstance is that the processes have to be executed under different usernames and permissions. These named pipes are special files that can exist anywhere in the file system. These named pipes special files are made with the command mkfifo as an mkfifo my pipe. A named pipe is marked with ap as the first letter of the mode string, for example. PRWRW. My pipe. Socket. A socket is a special file used for inter process communication. These allow communication between two processes. In addition to sending data, processes can send file descriptors across a Unix domain socket connection using the SENDMSG and or ECVMSG system calls. Unlike named pipes, sockets are fully duplex capable. A socket is marked with an S as the first letter of the mode string, for example. SRWXRWXRWX. X11 Unix XO. Device file. In Unix, almost all things are handled as files and have a location in the file system a Euro even hardware devices like hard drives. The great exception for devices and the files that represent them are network devices that do not turn up in the file system but are handled separately. Device files are used to apply access rights and to direct operations on the files to the appropriate device drivers. Unix makes a distinction between character devices and block devices. The distinction is roughly as follows, character devices provide only a serial stream of input or output. Block devices are randomly accessible. Although, for example, disk partitions may have both character devices that provide unbuffered random access to blocks on the partition and block devices that provide buffered random access to blocks on the partition. A character device is marked with AC as the first letter of the mode string. Likewise, a block device is marked with AB, for example. CRW. Null, BRWRW. 
SDA. DOR. A DOR is a special file for inter-process communication between a client and server, currently implemented only in Solaris. A DOR is marked with a D as the first letter of the mode string, for example. Dr. R. R. Name service door.